Hi, this is Terry Covell. I'm at an antique show with Adam, who has a wonderful name for his shop. It's called Dead 50s Modern. I don't know. Dead 50s? Well, it's a dead era that I'm trying to bring back into the 20th century. So. Well, it looks great. Uh, you. uh, you've got a little of everything, and I must admit I do remember it from way back, but don't, I won't get into that. Okay. Why don't you tell us about your coffee table first? Uh, I found this in a shop in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's uh, by Drexel. I think it's a fantastic design. Especially for today, you got spaces for your remote control, uh, magazines, and in the front is all exposed too, so you can have more books and magazines. And it's and it's the big size because large is now in. I think it's great, and this sits down flat. I what's love it. It, what's it made out of? Uh, I think it's walnut. It's all, it's solid, all solid. Solid walnut, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen, but uh, nine fifty will buy it right now. Interested? I haven't got any room in my okay. house, but that's another story. Let's try the dining room. I guess it's the breakfast room. Yeah, it's just Danish. I'm, uh, I'm Let unknown. me get around you because sure. otherwise nobody's going to hear you. Go ahead. It's just Danish, uh, made in Denmark, set in chairs, um, super clean. Uh, the, again, again, I got a price right at uh, 1000 um, and two leaves. And it's perfect condition. And it's expandable, yes. And the sides actually drop down, too. So it can be a two-seater, four-seater, or it can hold up to eight chairs. That's really very sensible. It's very I mean, versatile, yes. Now the dishes? Uh, Russell Wright. Uh, of course. Who else? Circa 1950. Actually, I bought it out of a house. It was a wedding gift they never used. So it's mint condition, a uh, service of eight. And they're, they're plastic. Mel, <laughs> Melmac. Melmac. Oh, excuse the, me. You're the better right. plastic. Yeah, it's called... And I got that price at two fifty. I've never seen a complete set. I think I think that price is fair. I wouldn't. The chemicals would really take off the finish. That's a big no. -no oh, that's a thought. Yeah. yeah, and I wonder if it might not fade it too. I've seen too many pieces that have just been destroyed through the dishwasher. So that's a that's a big no no. I want to know about the lamp. Which one? It's just, again, I found it in the shop. I just thought, I think big lamps are going to be hot in the next couple of years. Uh, they're just really, you know, for a focal point in any room, it's a definitely an eye catcher. Then again, unknown manufacturer. I think it's great quality, and I have it priced at uh, 250 But now, 75 will take it to that. Okay, I hope all of you are listening <laughs> that you can negotiate, and you don't even have to do that here. Now, how much is it worth without the shade? Uh well, you know what? The problem is you cannot find large shades anymore. They just don't make the size. So if I, I probably wouldn't buy it if it didn't have a shade. And if you do have one without a shade, keep the frame. Maybe you can get Absolutely. a shade. that Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I guess my other question is, what on earth are those? These are the gentleman's next door. Oh, he, he built this little wall and asked if he could display things, and I love them, so I said, sure. No, I think they went on uh, the bus so when he went to town to town, it would roll. A lot of times you see buses take like charter or going to Harrisburg, and this was the spool that went inside the, I guess, probably the 40s, like Greyhound buses. Which goes to show you can find anything at an antique show, Absolutely. even things you're not looking for. Absolutely. But I love your booth. It, Thank you. It's, it's really a good-looking booth. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it.